Hello, this is Todd Martin again from Solid Shell Security, and here's a nice little video that I'm going to be going over three commands that are available in Mac, Linux, and Windows. The Windows one might, like the actual command, might be a little bit different. I'll kind of get into that whenever I get to that command that I know of. So, first things first, any, uh, at least with Mac and Linux, I'm not too sure about Windows because I'm not a big Windows user. But uh, if there's any kind of command line command you want to know more information about, you type in man, which stands short basically for manual, and you type in the command. You can use ping as an example, and it gives you a little description in the name, and it sends a ICMP echo request packet to the network host. Basically says, hey, what's up? gives you a synopsis and kind of shows how you can use different options with the program and here in the description you can see different options and different things you can do using that program click, click Q and it should exit alright so let's use the ping command ping google.com basically it sends little ICMP packets saying hey what's up Control C to exit, and it gives you some uh, stats on it. Like there were nine packets transmitted, eight received, 11.1% loss, and it kind of this helps a lot whenever you're trying to troubleshoot a network. You know, um, like whenever I'm testing a wireless connection or something, the first thing I do is I fire up the uh, command prompt or the terminal and I'll type in ping and I'll ping Google just to see if it's even making a connection. Next command we're going to talk about is the trace route and we're going to trace route Google. This is the command that is a little bit different in Windows I believe. I think in Windows it's like trace RT but in Mac in Linux it's trace route and the domain of choice and what this simply does is it shows every connection that so whenever you make a connection to a website you send out a packet well it shows every connection that that packet goes to every server that it that packet has to go to it's actually kind of amazing because you don't think about it but for me as an example from my from my house to Google, it a packet has 16 stops to go through. So whenever I Google search something like kittens, that packet has to go to 16, 15, 16 different servers before it even gets to Google. So just think about like whenever you're Googling how fast it comes back and just thinking about, wow, that packet had to go through like 16, 20 servers and it was that fast. So that's the trace route command. Uh, it can also be used with some like website reconnaissance like I know Anonymous and then whenever they do some denial of service attacks they won't necessarily do it directly on the server but they'll do it on like a server that connects to that server if it's easier to take down so that's like an example of how they use it and then the next one is going to be netstat Netstat simply shows all incoming and outgoing traffic, routing tables, just some uh, basic network information. So we have the local host. Uh, if I was connected to Skype, that would be showing up on here. Or if I was actively talking on Skype, I should say. Like, as an example, let's run Netstat. It's usually a lot to go through though. It's a lot to read through. So those are just some three basic networking commands that come on an operating system. And of course remember if you want to know a little bit more about one of these programs especially if you're running uh, Unix or Linux some kind of Unix variant such as Mac, BSD, or Linux do the manual or man and then 
trace route. And there you go, trace route, print the route packets, take to network host, also does some other things. All the options. So, hope you enjoyed this little video.